Hello, well, students. Today we are going to discuss host and parasites. As zoology deals with so many disciplines, so parasitology is one of them. So today we are going to discuss about host and parasites. What is host and what is parasites? So let's start. Parasitology is the study of parasites, their host, and the relationship between them. As a biological discipline, the scope of parasitology is not determined. by the organism or environment in question but by their way of life all animals are in constant interaction with other organism these interactions can be divided into two basic types it may be intraspecific or it may be intraspecific interactions intraspecific interactions are those that occur between organism of the same species whereas Interspecific interactions are those that take place between different species. In intraspecific interactions, the degree of association can vary between being extremely loose to highly complex. Autumn in 1959 classified these interactions on the basis of their effect on population growth using by the denotation of the codes that is positive, negative or the zero that is no effect. The pioneer Dutch Antony van Leeuwenhoek of Holland in 1681 first introduced single lens microscope and observed Giardia in his own stools. Later on, Leveron in Algeria discovered the malarial parasites in 1880, and Ronald Ross in Secunderabad, Calcutta of India showed its transmission by mosquitoes in 1897. That is a vector parasites are living organism which depends on a living host for their nourishment and survival parasites can be classified as number 1 ectoparasites the parasites which live outside the body of the host lice ticks and mites are a good examples of the ectoparasites the another type of parasite may be endo the parasites which live within the body of host are known as endoparasites all the protozoans and helminths are always endoparasites free living parasites it refers to non parasitic stage of active existence which live independent of the host an example is negleria flori that is a cystic stage the another type of parasite is obligate the which cannot exist without a host for a, such as toxoplasma gondii and plasmodium species they can't live without their host there is no survival hence they are known as obligate parasites another type of parasites is facultative the organism which may live as a parasitic form or free living accidental the parasites which infect an unusual host are known as accidental parasites for example echinococcus granulosus infects men accidentally whereas it is a parasite of dog the another type of parasite is aberrant aberrant you may call it the wandering parasites the example is toxocara canis a dog run worm it can infect the human beings also now we are coming to the host what is host host is an organism which harbors the parasite and provides nourishment and shelter and is relatively larger than parasites further the host may be of different types it may be definitive the host in which the adult parasites lives and undergoes sexual reproduction mosquitoes acts as definitive host in malaria the definitive host may be a human being or may be other living beings however in majority of the human parasitic infection man is the definitive host examples are hookworm infection round worm infection filarial the another type of is intermediate host the host in which the larval stage of the parasite lives or asexual multiplication takes place is called intermediate host in some parasites the intermediate host may be one or two and they are simultaneously known as first and second intermediate host the another type of host may be parasitic a host in which larval stage of parasites remains viable without further development is referred as paratenic host however the such host are the good source of the transmission of infection to other hosts reservoir host in an endemic area 
a parasitic infection is continuously kept by the presence of a host which harbors the parasites and acts as an important source of infection to other immunocompromised host and dog is the reservoir host of hereditary disease the accidental host the host in which the parasite is not usually found and man is an accidental host of cystic echinococcus here are the few examples i have given where the protozoan definitive host is anopheles mosquito and intermediate host is men babesia the intermediate host is men whereas the definitive is tick and similarly for the cystodes trematodes and nematodes and so on now we are coming to the zoonosis the word zoonosis was introduced by rodolfo warcho in 1880 to include the disease shared in nature by men and animals WHO defined zoonosis as those diseases and infections which are naturally transmitted between vertebrate animals and men protozoal zoonosis that is toxoplasmosis leishmaniasis balantidis and cryptosporidiasis are the few examples for protozoan zoonosis helminthic zoonosis hereditary disease tinnitus are the examples anthropozoonosis the infection transmitted to men from lower vertebrate animals an example is cystic echinococcus zoo anthropogenesis where the infection transmitted from man to lower vertebrates that is a example of human tuberculosis to animals there are the chances to transmit human tuberculosis from man to animals the relationship between and host and parasite is of three types symbiosis commensalism and parasitism so what is symbiosis both host and parasites depend on each other and none is harmed and both enjoy the association the example is coral reefs and the small fishes the small fishes they hide themselves from the larger animals from their enemies whereas the corals they get nourishment and the uh, food due to the movement of the fishes outside and inside the another type of association is commensalism commensalism that is only parasites is being benefited but the host is not harmed here is the example of a shark that is a large fish and a small fish is being attached on the body of it and due to the movement of the high a larger fishes it get nourishment shelter protection from their enemies and where is the shark the larger fish is never harmed so such type of association is known as commensalism the another type of association of host and parasites is known as parasitism in this case the parasites is always benefited and host is always harmed the could examples are of protozoan infections amebiasis helminthiasis helminthic disease bacterial diseases all these diseases are all comes under the association of parasites so that's all about the host and parasite what is host and parasite and what what kind of interactions are there so that's all about the host and parasites thank you and this good uh, cartoon explaining a good message that is we always hate the hate the parasites thank you